An invasive species is killing trees in, nor in the Northeast forest. Citrus TV reporter David Edelstein tell us what the species is, what it does, and what problems it's causing. The southern pine beetle digs into pine trees, destroying and killing them. They are originally from the south, as their name suggests, but have recently been found in northern states. What's been happening more recently is increases in temperature so that it's moving northward into areas we've never seen it before. Attacked trees have holes all over them. The tree tries to push the beetles out, producing a popcorn-looking kernel on the bark. This was first seen in Long Island in fall 2014. Now, some southern pine beetles are also being found in Connecticut. The northern areas are probably not used to something like that being in the ecosystem, so I would imagine it could possibly have some detrimental effects. So if it kills trees, it's going to hit us in the pocketbook economically. It's going to hit us um, ecologically, too. So you may lose some functions within the ecosystems because of the mortality associated with it. The destruction the beetles cause also simply looks bad. There you've got some iconic places that have pines present. And if all of those pines are killed, then it's not as aesthetically pleasing. So you drive around and see a bunch of dead trees. That's not what we want. But the southern pine beetle might not be as much of a problem as it seems. In an NPR story, entomologist Dr. Claire Rutledge says that in Connecticut, only six to seven beetles have been found each year. Meanwhile, 2,000 are needed to attack just one tree. But warmer winters allow current beetles to attract more. An NPR story says temperatures would have to drop below seven degrees to kill off the beetles. But no need to worry much in central New York. In this area, there's not a lot of pine trees. But even those can eventually be attacked. Berkey added that scientists are monitoring the beetles' activity. David Edelstein, Citrus TV News.